Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning into this latest video. We have a client here, uh, it's a young lady who attended with her mother. She was very, very anxious. Um, she was very reluctant to have her ears treated. And however, it was causing her great distress, um, earache, reduced hearing. And they came across me on YouTube and traveled a fair distance to have their ears treated by myself. So she has bilateral impacted earwax. This is the right ear. This is the worst ear out of the two. And you can see the wax has been there for a while. You can tell by the color, it's quite dark. It's oxidized. So freshly secreted earwax is more of a light brown shade. And as the wax has been in the ear, um, the longer it's been in the ear, it will oxidize and get darker and darker in shade. That initial plug of wax was near the entrance, it's more lateral. We know that because of all the cilia, all the hair strands. So all the hair strands, all the hair follicles in the ear, in the outer third. You can see there's a strand there. I know some people get annoyed that I left that, but the patient's very anxious. We don't want to removing little strands of hair here and there that are not significant um, and not going to cause the patient any problems. The idea is to get the procedure done as quickly as possible, get the patient hearing again. So that's the right ear complete. Now in the left ear, there's a little surprise coming up, as you can probably allude to in the thumbnail. This wax is a bit drier. The patient hadn't been using drops in this ear. It's a bit more sticky. You can see there's a few hairs there. So I suspect the patient has been, um, so some hairs uh, near the entrance, the patient's either been trimming them or inserting a q-tip or cotton bud in the end it's pushing these loose hairs deeper in the end matting it against the wax so the patient's ear canal entrance on this side is a bit more narrower however we're just wriggling this plug of wax through and you'll see now at the top left you can see a bit of a, a white object attached to the wax and that's the grommet so a grommet is also known as a ventilation tube and it's normally surgically inserted into the eardrum if you have a blocked eustachian tube. So the eustachian tube is a narrow orifice, a narrow tube that connects the middle ear. So the middle ear is the cavity behind the eardrum to the back of the nose. The eustachian tube has two functions. The first one, it serves as a drain pipe. So any fluid that is secreted by the mucosa, so the, the skin that lines the middle ear, so the mucosa layer of skin, any fluid that is secreted at that, it can drain away out of the eustachian tube at the back of the nose. And the eustachian tube is also the pressure equalizer in the ear. Ideally, we want the air pressure behind the eardrum to be equal to the atmospheric air, pre uh, air pressure. And that's when the eardrum is like it's most mobile. And the eustachian tube can regulate the air pressure. You can either um, get air into the middle ear or let air escape during moments of swallowing, yawning, chewing. Um, when the eustachian tube is blocked, there's no air behind the eardrum. So the eardrum gets sucked in, it's like a vacuum effect and fluid can no longer drain. So an ENT surgeon inserts a, a ventilation tube so the air pressure can be equalized um, by the external ear, the ear canal, as opposed to the eustachian tube, which is out of function, out of service. And any fluid um, that's secreted behind the eardrum in the middle ear can escape via the ear canal. It can drain via that ventilation tube because that eustachian tube is blocked. Eventually the, uh, the grommet does uh, remove itself. It can vary. The Shah grommet there can last up to six months, maybe up to a year. It just depends on different individuals. You can get long-term grommets, uh, ventilation tubes, which are a bit longer. They protrude out of the ear, um, the, of the eardrum a lot more, and they can last several years. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, all keep, I hope you're all keeping well and safe, and I'll upload some more videos during uh, the course of the next week. Take care. Bye.